Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you wool painting because I am, I really like art. And when I saw this on Mariah Elizabeth's channel, I was like, wow, I really want to try that. So here we are. And guys, remember to check out Mariah Elizabeth's okay. channel. So what comes in the kit are these, um, like, like little mold, like not molds, but like, I forgot the word, but they, like you can do different shapes. There are seven of these. We will not be using that. Um, then we have um, like a little foam stabby board. Um, here are all our supplies. It comes in this little handy dandy box. There are scissors. These do come in a container. I was just looking at everything earlier and they make super satisfying sounds. See, isn't that satisfying? So they come with this like, they're pretty sharp. So I just, they have this little like protector. So, um, and set this to the side. Um, so then <sighs> so they have um like this spiky tool in bubble wrap and there's like a rubber band. Then these needles are super pointy. Ow. Um but like you can unscrew the handle. I already looked at this earlier. Plus with the video I saw about this, I already can see you can replace them. And then just screw the handle back on. Mm, yeah, girl. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna set those to the side. They have a bunch of these, um, Placements. You guys need to change them out. Let's just screw the lid back on. Set those to the side. They have, you can just, you put this one, point of finger, this one on your thumb. Okay. Oh, there's something like inside of it. Okay. Never mind that. Put these on to protect your fingers. I'm just gonna set those to the side. Um, and then if this, this might look weird, but it is actually a single needle, sharp needle. And what you do is this confused me at first also. You have to take it and switch, switch around on it. And then you can stick it in. Just like that. But when you want to put it away, take it and put the pointy part towards the thin side and slide it down and stick the needle into the container. Um, so just set that to the side, and then they have, these are for like stuffies, so they're like eyes and noses and stuff for a different thing. Bells, I hear. Like, a bunch of different baggies, a bunch of different stuff. Those to the side. Um, some pliers, we won't be using it. It comes in this like plastic bag. So you basically got a uh, free plate, well, not a pair of nice pliers those to the side because I will not be using them. Um, these tweezers that come in this little black bag. They won't be all moving around. And then they have this singular really pointy needle. And it has like this little, I don't know if you can see it, but like this little silicone, well not silicone, but like rubber little cylinder that you can stick on the point. Sorry if it's a little blurry. It's kind of close to the camera there. Let me just. And then, like, you can hold it really tight. Shimmy on in. And then they have four glue sticks. Don't really know why. But what we will be using is the, like, pointy stab. Um, I'll keep the these out. I'll have these. Everything else we do not need. We don't need really anything from this box. Okay. So, I'm just gonna 
close that up and move it away. So now we have all of this wool. And so now we just got to choose our colors. What I'm thinking is maybe like the background, like, um, like, I think like a night sky kind of, like a bunch of big colors and like, so like a bunch of blues and purples. Also guys, what you will need if you're going to be doing wool painting, not wool felting, is, well, you'll need felt. It did not come into the kit. Um, get them at Hobby Lobby for 25 cents. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. Um, just making sure the price is right, sorry. Um, and you can get a, so you, just for $2, you can get eight. And then if you want, you can get these nice, like, craft hooks to, like, to put it in and hang it on the wall. That should be nice. Um, they, uh, well, and so what I'll be, I, oopsie, fell in the drawer. Um, I think I'll use this light blue and dark blue, some of that, some of this purple. I think, I think I'll use this yellow for the moon, and this darker purple also, and one more, like, yeah, all of those, so you will just put those aside, put those out the box, Now you will be eating this and this and what I am just going to do is grab um, my scissors okay I've got my scissors and also if you see like any paint work right there this is because I've painted on this multiple times like dirty projects of course um and so what I will be doing is I got my handy dandy scissors you will be laying it, well, if I am kind of um, going to like get, this is pretty small, so I am just, be right back with a pencil, couldn't find a pencil, got a pen. So I'm just going to like place my hand firmly right there, and just like trace, wait, <laughs> sorry, flip it around. trace like the basic outline and the only reason I thought of this this was not my idea this is just exactly literally exactly what Mariah and Elizabeth did again this is where I saw um uh like wool painting for the first time this is not going to be the me this is going to be messy okay so now I will take my and basically, oh, are these sharp enough? <laughs> yep. I can just take this off now. Sorry if it kind of goes out of screen. <laughs> oh, 
backwards. Well, upwards sounds basically. I'm just gonna trim that down a little bit. Let's see. Well, no, I'm not actually. Oh yeah, I don't know. These were the first scissors possible. Boom! Nailed it. Okay. I did that large enough. And actually, yeah, I did. Ish. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to be laying it there. So now that we I have successfully done that, I will like for the background. Well, hmm, I'm not sure this is what I want to do. Because I was I'm doing well, I was wanting it for my room. I was thinking about doing like boba because I love boba. Now I am not quite sure. I think I'm gonna stick with my idea. So I think I'm gonna have it like light to dark. Basically, like you can hold it down and just stop, 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 This is literally what I saw in the video. Don't worry about any like this out. Oh. <laughs> and like this is just the main idea. And it's okay if it hits your fingers. Just don't go super hard. If you I'm just spreading it out. Yeah, I know this is very boring to watch. of it because you kind of know the main idea I'm going to speed it up so yeah okay guys I know I said we wouldn't be needing the um well the stencils but yeah we will be so we're baking the moon and so I will just put it where I want it. Get some of my blue. Kind of just like, I guess, push it in. And we will be needing the tiny needle for this. I guess. Yeah. Because the big needle will definitely not fit into this. And I think I will be using like really the yellow the one with the yellow handle this one so, yeah so we're basically just going to stab this
gonna end up doing is no stencil because the stencil is just too hard. I think I will just like literally sculpt the moons. I can use my big one. If you use a small one, it literally gets you nowhere. Like you, I tried that I, it, you get nothing done. This is gonna be a big moon. <laughs> Not gonna be the best looking moon. And I think you well, you definitely need to make sure it's like like pointy, I guess, in some ways. I go kind of quiet sometimes because I'm just like serious. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Okay. Got all my stars. Now, what you do is you don't have to, you don't necessarily need one of these. I just wanted one. I just wanted to use one. Just unscrew it. Take it out. When you, cause I had to move it, cause this is a pretty small working space. Well, kind of small. Um. Um, material. too high. Some placement issues. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Oopsie. Yep, yep, yep. Very difficult. Um, 
And now you just can go around cutting off all the excess. If you have sharp enough scissors. <laughs> like, but like, I can just cut up that and then I'm gonna put it back in the bag and get it all off of the felt. I didn't have enough room for it. It was a complete waste. If like, <gasps> okay. Um, how nice it came undone. Guys, I just remembered. I actually have sharp scissors. So yeah, I did get it back in. Just washing now. They're sharp enough. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is very difficult. Technical difficulties. Sorry, my tripod literally fell. Um of the table. I was trying to move it so you can get a better, like you can wash fish. And put these. And you just like, whoops, see you later. Guys, this is super difficult. How thick the wool is. Oops. Okay, guys, this is my final product. Product, sorry. I honestly like it. It. This is pretty fast. Maybe like takes like an hour to thirty minutes. Um, make sure it, you do need to make sure if you're putting it in one of these, the right, that you cut it the right size because that was failed. There's white showing through. It's not some, I, I think I could have made, I think I could have done better. Um, but thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Be, you know, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.